folks, welcome back, Dr. Jorge Camara. Well, I uh, I grew up in the Philippines, where my mom and dad are from, yeah. and then I went to Houston, Texas, where I uh, went to Baylor College of Medicine, did my ophthalmology there yeah. after graduating from med school, and then uh, in 1982 I came over here to Hawaii. And, and you've been here ever since. Yes, I have my. What since. ophthalmology is eyes, and what do you do? Your eye surgery and stuff. I do, uh, besides doing general eye surgery, I also do uh, ophthalmic reconstructive surgery. So people that have, say, cancer of their lid or fractures of the socket of the eye, um, I do that kind of work. And that's what got you into Aloha Medical Mission, where you go all over the world doing some of these uh, surgeries that nobody else is doing. Yes, my, it's been a great privilege to serve with the Aloha Medical Mission. I've been with them for as far back as I can remember. Uh, we've been to uh, many countries, the Philippines, Vietnam, Bangladesh, Laos, uh, to name a few. And uh, we also have a clinic here at the Kalihi Palama Clinic, and it takes care of a lot of the uh, people that are underinsured or don't have any medical insurance. Now, uh, Dr. Moore, I will tell you this, but he is consistently chosen as one of the best doctors in America by the people that do that. And he's been on CNN and all that stuff because you go around and help these little kids in all these countries with their, their eye problems. That, that said, there's another side to his life. There's a piano over here. You are a concert pianist. Well, I have played in a few concerts. I wouldn't be uh, so audacious, but I, I have played piano since I was six. My, uh, my father, I was telling Dr. Maeda earlier, uh, made me play the piano. He made all of the 12 kids, who were 12 children, play the piano. And I used to tell him, Dad, I don't like this. You're wasting your money on me. And my father would say, trust me, Jorge. Trust me, George. Someday you'll like this. And you know what, Mike? He was right. And I'm See? glad I listened to his advice. Always listen to Daddy. Yes. You got that microphone. Look, you already ran away. You didn't take that Michael. Where are you? You scared him off. My pick was piano lessons. You don't blame him, Max. Jorge's already got some CDs, and, and uh, he, he's, he's played piano. The new CD, however, takes this to a strange new summit in your career, because the, the uh, CD is entitled Live from the Operating Room. Now, what does that mean? You know, um, what happened there was, uh, we know that recording music relaxes. Uh, people. Uh, and many studies show that listening to recorded classical music can bring down the blood pressure as effectively as taking a medication. That was a paper published in the American Society of Hypertension uh, last year. But, but we, I wanted to see uh, if playing for my patients before their surgery, playing live for them, would bring down their blood pressure, their heart rate, and their breathing rate. So what we did was we put a piano uh, into our operating room at what was then called the St. Francis Hospital, now Hawaii Medical Center East. And as each patient came in, instead of listening to the sound of the, you know, your, the monitor in your heart and the nurses staring at you with their masks, I would say, let me play something for you. And I'd play Beethoven or Chopin. And we found out uh, because we would measure their blood pressure, their heart rate, and their breathing rate before they enter the operating room. We found out that before giving them any sedation, just the mere fact that we play piano for them, it statistically brought down their blood pressure, their heart rate, and their breathing rate. And so I published this in a scientific journal. Are uh, you a professor at the University of Hawaii John Burns School? Yes, sir. May I, I, I make a suggestion? Yes. If this theory that you say is true, then what you should do is when we have our football games at the Wall Stadium and the opponent is here, while they are warming up, you go on the PA system and play them so bad. Volunteer your services. That makes sense, actually. For, for our team, hire a stripper. For their team, hire a man. <laughs> and Absolutely. 
Thanks for coming back, Michael. We're going to give you a copy of this so that you can become a <laughs> we, have a, we have a piano set up on stage here, and uh, the CD is entitled Live from the Operating Room. By the way, the, a lot of the uh, profits go to Aloha Medical Room. Yes, uh, the organization that I'm proud to belong to and have had the privilege of serving, uh, we are dedicating the profits to them. We used to have concerts, actually. We still will, the four doctors and the patient. I think that's why I was last here. Right. Uh, last concert was four doctors, a patient, and the mayor. Uh, but uh, we thought that this is a good way of having something lasting, something people could take home, listen to, put in your car, avoid road, road rage, and what this is to relax. <laughs> anyway, we want a sample. You folks want a sample? Yeah! yeah. We have our, uh, this is a full, uh, it's a 19 foot grand piano as you can see. <laughs> Marvin Hamlish himself played that piano. He's got a few less keys than I'm used to, so I'm missing a few notes, so please bear with me.